Hello everyone, let's learn KiCad. Uh, let's download it first. Go to the website KiCad. Go to the download section and download any operating system that you have. I am using Windows, so I am downloading Windows. In here, you can find any server. Just click on it and it will be downloaded. Uh, I have already installed this installing is really straightforward so i am not making the video go to kicker 9 and here file new project then go to any location i have kicker project right here now we will make a regulator REG. enter you have two files schematic and pcb schematic where we draw the stuff and a PCB is actual PCB layout go to the schematic in here we have a schematic we'll draw this this is a AC to DC variable converter we'll make this PCB go to your schematic editor go this place symbol or hotkey A click it it will take some time to load already loaded so first of all we will have a screw terminal screw terminal 2 go to the footprint and click any footprint that you want I am using Mm, this footprint mm, nah. this footprint this is a terminal block click R to rotate then place the second footprint GB this is a full bridge rectifier I am using 420 volt this one I have full bridge rectifier now then we'll use a capacitor press C to capacitor then select footprint I am using disk uh, radial type capacitor twin this is good enough for me 10 and 20 mm I can select a smaller version also and this works click OK you have capacitor then we will need the actual IC LM317 uh, I am using TO2 version TO220 version go then I need a variable register go here R potentiometer select any footprint mm. I am using this one right here I need register go find find any stuff you want and you will find it in here I'm using this one this one fits and then I also need a capacitor I will copy this paste it over here and then I need a screw terminal mm. press R to rotate so all the component is placed now hover over this point and you will get marker so just connect according to your schematic this capacitor will change the value uh, this would be 22 microfarad 
now the positive side would be positive we can use polarizing capacitor also this is a polarizing capacitor but this schematic symbol doesn't show it so we'll delete it we'll make a mistake we made a mistake look see polarize if you search capacitor here is option capa polarize capacitor place it copy the footprint from from here paste the footprint you got the footprint now change the value and we will go to go save this then click f8 to save and then go to the layout of pcb now all the packages are here click update pcb close and you have all the packages over here now we will make sure that everything is properly aligned First of all, align all the items. The good thing about KiCad is you can actually see which component you are clicking like this one like this this is a great great thing when you are using more component Now you have a proper board. You can go to 3D view and see the thing. Some some 3D component are missing. It is usual case in KiCad because of the direction of the path. Look in here. Some 3D models are missing. I don't know why. Uh, we also can import the 3d file I will show you that later now in the tracks edit path 
then width line width i am giving 1 mm of line width go to then route single track or click x in the keyboard oh i need to select 1 mm now i can click will not It is very bad practice to have this kind of 90 degree line. We are uh, we all use this 45 degree lines like this. We have to be in front front cover zone. Ground net, go to ground, then draw the line. You don't have to be perfect in this line. You can draw any any kind of line, but I am doing it mm, more robust way press esc then press b to the fill the zone when you fill the zone look i still have a missing line i have imported all the 3d files and some finer details like this register and some components and this is how the final pcb looks isn't it awesome